Hey guys, and welcome to week 15 of Upfront Games News. Upfront Gaming News. I'll be able to talk today, I swear. Uh, so, first let's start with PlayStation. Obviously, um, it's kind of our role. We go from PlayStation to Xbox to Nintendo. I don't think that'll change anytime soon. But uh, let's jump into it. So, PlayStation's biggest release of the week that's also available on Xbox is going to be Dangerous Driving. Uh, from a couple of the original creators of the Burnout series uh, with Three Fields Entertainment. So uh, let's jump into that trailer now. Check it out. That was Dangerous Driving, again, from a couple of the original creators of the Burnout series, uh, now operating within Three Fields Entertainment. Um, it looks awesome. It's definitely a long overdue that we had a Burnout uh, sequel of sorts. Um, again, if you were following us, uh, we did a feature on this, um, I want to say a month ago now, maybe a little bit earlier than that. Um, on how the fact that they couldn't essentially use the burnout name because it is owned by EA. Um, so going forward, Dangerous Driving seems to be that substitute uh, name anyway that we needed for the burnout series uh, and a sequel that everybody's kind of been waiting on. So can't wait, excited for it to release. And in actuality, it comes out this week. So you can go ahead and get that if you were uh, looking for it. Um, let's move on to further news within PlayStation. So the latest Mortal Kombat 11 trailer um, shows off a new character called the Collector. Um, he's said to be one of Shao Kahn's most feared associates. However, uh, when Shao Kahn's regime kind of fell apart and it was taken over by Kotal Kahn, he was captured and is now facing execution. Uh, from Kotal Kahn, he's determined to destroy anyone in his path uh, to avoid that and restore uh, what he was doing under Shao Kahn's regime. So uh, if you're getting Mortal Kombat, which releases April 23rd, uh, then hopefully you know, you'll be able to see what he can do uh, when it comes to its the release. But you can go look at the trailer today, it is out. And um, if you are in Mortal Kombat, by all means, uh, I hope to see you in game uh, when we get our hands on it on the 23rd as well. So um, looking forward to that. Uh, finally, for PlayStation, Danny Dyer and Tim Kitzrow are adding voiceovers to Rage 2. Um, the comedic voiceovers are just a couple of the cheat codes uh, for Rage 2 when it releases April 14th. It seems to me like these aren't really cheat codes. They're just something that you can activate within the game. Um, however, uh, it is kind of cool. I watched the trailer on the uh, on fire uh, cheat with Tim Kitzrow, and uh, it seems really interesting. And it brings back some memories from NBA Jam in a completely different way. Um, so looking forward to that. Let's uh, switch gears and move into Xbox. Xbox's trailer for the month is is another one that releases, or for the week I should say, is another one that releases 
for both Xbox and PlayStation. Um, this is Vaporum. Again, we talked about this uh, being a steampunk uh, dungeon adventure uh, probably uh, three weeks to a month ago now. So if you want to go back and check out that video uh, for what we covered then. Um, but without further ado, here's the trailer and uh, hope you enjoy. So that was Vaporum. That's a uh, again a, a steampunk dungeon uh, style game, which it, it looks really good, um, at least graphics wise. Some of the movements are a little confusing um, because it almost seems like the uh, the robots and whatnot that you're fighting throughout this kind of have a set determined area and they're not able to move very freely. Um, there's one scene in the trailer where um, you see this large robot just shoot fire and he stays like straight out while you just sidestep out of the way and he doesn't really move or adjust to follow you. So I'm not so sure how the mechanics work, but um, it still looks interesting. I'm not so sure that I'll, I'll dive into it, but uh, if you're into that sort of thing, it does look like a really good game, at least art style is uh, on point. So let's uh, dig a little bit deeper into Xbox, shall we? So We Happy Few's first season pass content that came from below includes a new storyline with a vast underground lab and robot invaders. Um, that's been available since Friday, so if you're playing We Happy Few, uh, then go ahead and get that if you have the season pass. If not, get the season pass to enjoy it. Uh, because there will be more to come to add to We Happy Few. And it looks like it's a uh, pretty expansive storyline uh, adding to the game, so it should be pretty good. Uh, the Division 2's title Basin update uh, came out Friday as well, and that includes new challenges and high-level gear. It allows advancement to World Tier 5. Uh, that also allows your gear score to raise to 450 points. Uh, it's the first free update and again has been live since Friday. So if you're playing the Division 2, make sure you jump in and enjoy that as well. I know uh, eventually I will. I do have it. I kind of put it on hold to uh, beat an old game uh, this last week. So I may not be back in it until I complete that. However, um, I'll definitely enjoy Tidal Basin as soon as I get the opportunity. So um, that's it for Xbox. Let's move into Nintendo where we have quite an extensive trailer here. Uh, but 
uh, if you're looking forward to it. They only have one game released this week, and that's Neo Atlas 1469. So uh, here's the trailer. Check it out. Anata wa sekai no honto no katachi o shitte imasu ka? Ima dewa atari mae no sekai chizu. Da ga, 500 nen mae wa mada dare mo sono katachi o shirana katta. Ima, anata no shiru sekai chizu wa inochi shirazu na funa nori tachi no もしその形が間違っていたら本当の世界はどんな姿なのだろうか。15世紀反戦の時代船乗りたちの間では世界の果ては滝になっていると信じられていたのですそう丸い世界などあるはずがないと。貴重のあなたは国王と貿易特権契約なるものを結びインドジパングを目指しやがては世界の形を見極める壮大な事業を始めることに目指すはまだ雲に覆われて見えない世界地図を完成させることただしこの世界地図はあなた次第でどのような姿にでもなる。この世界はどんな地図になるかわからないそうあの15世紀の人々と同じようにポルトガルの首都リスボンここからあなたの壮大な事業が始まるサポート役には有能だがちょっと早とちりな執事ミゲルそして8人の頼れる帝徳たち英雄として慕われているがめっぽう運が悪い帝徳知識はずば抜けているがちょっと偏屈な学者潜水にかけては誰にも負けない元気いっぱいのお嬢様その他元海賊謎のシャーマン怪しいイカサマ氏などどれも個性豊かな面々彼ら帝徳たちを使い分け未知の領域へと出航させるのだ無事航海から帰航すると探検報告が始まる未開の地へと突き進む船団雲の奥に突如現れる新大陸大海原で巻き起こる信じがたい数々の出来事そんな報告をあなたが信じていくことで世界はその姿を表していく世界には数々の謎や怪物お宝が隠されている次々に展開されるエピソードクエストを解いてお宝をゲットだ壮大な事業の成功のためには資金が必要だ貴重な産物を発見し貿易で稼ぐトレジャーハンターよろしくお宝集め海賊や怪物を倒して荒稼ぎとにかくこの世界では何をしても構わない貿易王の称号を目指す道も面白いだろう。トラス1469最大の特徴をご説明しようこの世界では提督の報告を信じることも信じないこともできるつまりあなたにとって望むことだけを信じることも可能なのだ何を信じるかによって幻のアトランティス大陸などの
未知の大陸が出現することもあるかもしれないこうして信じるか信じないかを繰り返し世界はあなたが望む姿になっていくそれどころか世界が丸いか平らなのか形すら変わってくるのだもしかすると世界を支える巨大な何かをも発見できるかもしれない。Okay, guys, that was Neo Atlas 1469、uh, releasing for the Switch. Again, a pretty extensive trailer.、Um, it looks like a good、um, RPG slash management game、uh, where you get to shape the world. So that's kind of cool.、Um, so if you're looking forward to that or if you've played any of the other Neo Atlas games, Um, this is coming out on Switch on the 9th.、Uh, so, Konami arcade games are coming to the Switch. It seems they will come as separate titles, which will start on April 11th for $7.99.、Uh, so, you can go check that out at the、uh, Nintendo eStore.、Uh, GameStop and Amazon are saying the physical version of Wolfenstein Youngblood will not include a cartridge, only a digital code. Uh, that releases on July 26th. So, is this going to be the future of Nintendo Switch、uh, physical versions where they're only giving you a download code instead of actually giving you the game? And if that's the case,、um, why is it that they would even sell a physical copy at all? Because, in its, in its essence, it's not a physical copy. And it's not like I can just bring that case back. And return it for any game credit or anything like that if it is, in fact, just a download code. So that's a little bit odd.、Um, we'll see. So that's it for this week, guys.、Um, so check out、uh, those trailers that we mentioned throughout the video if you want to get more information. Also,、uh, if you have any questions, comments, Leave it in the、uh, questions, comments below,、uh, as well as subscribe and like. It really helps the channel, and we're still trying to build. We're almost in our fourth month, but we're definitely on top of it, and we do it every week on schedule. So,、um, as well as our additional monthly video, at the end of each month, we do a bigger video to either highlight or review. A title that we've been playing throughout the month, or、uh, to dig a little bit deeper into some of the gaming news that we didn't get to touch on in our regularly, regular weekly videos.、Um, so, again, if you're interested, like, subscribe, share, and、uh, get your friends involved、uh, so we can make this channel a little bit bigger, do it a little bit more graphically,、uh, and make this more eye popping. When it comes to games. So,、uh, without further ado,、um, have a good week, and we will see you next week for week 16 of Upfront Gaming News. And until then, guys, peace.